Here's your ticket to Harvard, Yale, or Stanford, and here's your flight taking off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Indian Debating League. The most awaited subject where debating is concerned is the pursuit of academic proficiency. And today, I will break down exactly why academic excellence is defined or impacted by your debating skills. So, let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to start off this video, let's answer the primary question. What even is academic excellence? And ladies and gentlemen, the answer is beyond simple and hard. What I mean by this is academic excellence is usually defined as the pursuit of knowledge, the application of the same, followed by the presentation of this knowledge. And the best way to understand how academic excellence can be measured is aptitude test, SATs, GREs, so on and so forth. And I, today, will answer this question on the basis of debate and exactly how academic excellence and debating intervene. So, the first thing we need to know, ladies and gentlemen, is does debating help you get into the colleges you want? And the answer lies inside the Indian Debating League's alumni database. People who have debated with us have gone on to be future leaders in institutions and universities of the Ivy League, such as Oxford, LSE, York, Yale, Harvard, Stanford, and many, many more. So, in this world, if you take a stone and you throw it somewhere, you probably hit it on an Ivy League student who might have just debated in their high school journeys. And if they're Indian, they might have just debated with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain why this takes place. How does debating help? Now, we've already understood what academic excellence is. So, now I want to know, what does debating entail? When you get a topic, the first thing you have to do is research. And therefore, you have information literacy. What that means is you have so much knowledge stored up over here that you can apply in any one of your academic pursuits, which automatically makes you an academic weapon. The second thing is interdisciplinary learning. What that means is debates has so many topics and themes, which means you leave no stone unturned. Tomorrow, if you're sitting in a general setting and you're giving an aptitude test, these aptitude tests will be for the common or average man based around topics such as arithmetic reasoning, logical reasoning, and English speaking or English writing skills. All of these academic tests or aptitude tests test your general knowledge to some extent. And your general knowledge will definitely be high. The second is that your interdisciplinary learning is so good because you know cross pathways of learning. Even if you're a doctor or somebody who's wanting to become a doctor, there's no harm in knowing what the engineering field is up to or the political landscape is up to. And that's exactly what debating gives you. And lastly, your subject analysis goes up because your curiosity is strengthened, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know the answers to particular questions and you know exactly how to know them by answering the burdens as we discussed in the last video that each topic has. You know what research questions or subtopics have to be entailed in your research when you research a particular theme or topic. And that's why researching, debating, information literacy, and interdisciplinary learning all propel your academic excellence. If you like that video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. But more importantly, if you like debating in such interesting formats, ladies and gentlemen, my actual top tip, top suggestion, take it from me, is to go into the description of this video and register for the Republic's Day Forensics Debate. There's no better way to set your mark on the national stage. I'll see you there.